this is more of a when you uh, design a program, right? When you're designing, when you're designing a program, these are the steps. As you can see, it's almost like a reverse, where you push the output back to the top, and then the inputs in the middle. You process at the end. Right? It looks a little bit different from the other way around. <clears throat> so right down here. So as you can see, <clears throat> you want to find a program to uh, define or find how fast a car travels if it goes 50 miles in two hours, right? To solve such a problem, you need to know the outputs first. So most programs, that's what happened first, the output. Uh, think about, say, when you want to build a house, you don't just go and start building a house, right? You, you, you define, you throw out the blueprint. You want your house to look like, what color you need, what material you need, what, uh, what, how, how big the, the house is, how many rooms you need. All those are the output already. You already know what you want. So that's the output process. A program is the same thing. When you write a program to say, um, you know, a tic-tac-toe game, right? What does the interface look like, right? Uh, how many rows and columns you need and things like that. So that's the output process, the design process. And you want to do that first because you, you don't want to start coding and then suddenly, you know, um, uh, things don't match the way you want it, right? Of course, in a really simple program, you don't have to draw it out. You know, in your head, you can just do it very quickly. But a, a complex program, you need to draw out the output first, okay? So that's that one. And then once you define the output, you know exactly what you want, then the next thing is the input. Input is like what kind of data you need. What kind of material you need to build the house, right? You get you get the resources. Once you have all the material you need, you get all the input data you need, and then you start processing the information, right? And that's where the process comes into the picture. Right? You start building right away, or you start your calculations, or uh, creating colors, or building uh, other objects out of that. So this is a typical process when you build a write a program. The processing part is. Input process output designing part is output input process. Okay. So if you if you can understand this logic, it'll make things much simpler for you later on when you write your code. Okay, so we're gonna fall back to this two really simple um, uh, concept when you write programs later, and this can be applied to the entire program itself or to tiny sub programs we call functions. Okay, so. Um, we will be talking about this quite extensively throughout the course when we write functions and other uh, uh, subroutine or subcode. <clears throat>